Mikey has a lab that's unicorn. <laughs> I'm in South Williamsburg, Brooklyn. This neighborhood used to be a hotbed of hipsters, but with brunch places and high-rise condos around every corner, it's become a cautionary chapter in New York City's tale of gentrification. But long before all of that, in South Williamsburg, this neighborhood was known as Los Sudes because there was a huge concentration of Puerto Ricans from New York or New Yorkans that arrived in waves of immigration here in the 19th and 20th centuries. This neighborhood has changed a lot, but the community stays strong holding the Puerto Rican diaspora. You might not know it, but there's a larger population of Puerto Ricans here in New York than there is anywhere outside of the island. Barrios, these tight-knit communities like Los Sudes, is what's keeping that diaspora alive. So if you know what to look for, you can find Puerto Rican culture, my culture, all over Los Sudes. From piraguas, to dominoes on street corners, to the blaring sounds of classic salsa music that was born on New Yorican streets just like this one. The heart of this place beats strong at Doñitas, which is New York City's last Puerto Rican social club. It's here in Los Sudas, and it's a place where young transplants from the island come to share a drink with New Yorkans whose families have been in Williamsburg for the last century. They come to celebrate the pastimes of this neighborhood and our future here in Los Sudas. See, walking into Tonita, the very first thing that really captures your attention is the music. You come into Tonitas and you don't know what to expect. I mean, you can get beers for $3, whiskey for $5. Like, she cooks for everyone, and like, it's legit Puerto Rican food. Arroz con andole, arroz con habichuelas rosadas, pernil. Makeshift art, you have old and new mixing. WC Fuels is here. Well, Puerto Ricans are gangsters too. You've got life, Christmas lights, and turkeys, and Easter bunnies, and everything is happening at the same time, and you don't know what to do. But it reminds you that this is like an old person's home, and then you can just go right in and just order your drink and just have a good time. My name is Ray, they call me El Galang here. Um, I've been, I've been a, a staple in the club for the last three and a half decades. The club has survived so many facets, so many genres, so many revolutions, and we're still here. And it's the last uh, Puerto Rican club that we have, and we take a big pride in knowing that we still exist. We're still an indigenous people, but lately has been a new revolution with Puerto Ricans that are transplanting themselves uh, from the island here uh, uh, in New York City. And they always look at a place where they can call their own. I'm from Puerto Rico, born and raised. I've been in New York for five years. People like me that live in Washington Heights, we live like an hour away. We come here just because we relate to this place. Like we love this place. There's old pe very old people and very young people. Like there's no in between. We're very, very different, but at the same time, we're trying to get to the same root, you know? Which is like preserve our culture. They like us just because we remind them of how they were. Still reminds them that that place is still there. Right. You know? Which is really important for us, especially because we live in a country that is not ours. Right now, everybody knows about Doñitas. Like, even American people, like, now we have more people to actually, like, preserve it. Now it's gotten younger and it's gotten, it's, it's a very vibrant mm -hmm. place. You can go to Harlem, you're never gonna find a club like this. You can go to the Bronx and you're not, you're not gonna find it. You come to Williamsburg and voila, 